Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, lovely to see you all again. Uh, we didn't go away this week, um, but we have got a video coming up where we go to Northumberland, uh, to a Dark Skies area called Kielder Forest, which is just absolutely stunning. So keep an eye out for that next week. Um, but this week, uh, every single time I post a video up on the channel, there's at least two or three comments where people ask me what to, is the vlogging setup, what, what camera gear do I use, uh, both for video and photos. So this video is gonna address that. Um, I'm going to talk about the camera that I'm filming on now, um, the camera that I use to take photographs of landscapes and things like that, take out walks with the family, and then also uh, just dip into very, very quickly uh, my professional setup that I use to photograph weddings with, like that one behind me. There's been a subscriber got in touch, he's um, kindly donated me some uh, lowering springs so I can eventually have the band lowered at the front again, so that will be another thing coming up, hopefully uh, soon. <laughs> Bought a new chair as well. It's right nice. All I need now is like a like a cat on my lap and then I'm like, hello, I am like a baby from a movie. Anyway, also, uh, I bought a bag. Now, it's for, it's related to this vlog uh, and it's uh, a bag, I'll do some B-roll now. It's a bag that I bought for the camera system as well because I were always struggling with the, the gear that, uh, that I had uh, been able to go out on walks as well as carry my camera gear without just like flopping around in the bag. So yeah, I'll show you that. Um, right, okay, Van, let's go. I'm, I'm gonna do it this time, really. Let's go. Ow. Right then, guys, we're in the van, as you can see, and um, I'm gonna show you my vlogging setup. Now, it's very, very, very simple and straightforward. Um, I am filming this currently on the Sony a7 III, and it's got the Tamron 17 to 28 lens on it, for those that are interested. Uh, it's an f2.8 lens, and uh, I don't really film on this very often on the channel because uh, it's my professional workhorse that I use for weddings and portraits. So it usually stays either in my camera bag or in the safe at home, ready for the next wedding or professional shoot that I've got. Now, I'm not that professional when it comes to vlogging, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> now, I use the uh, DJI Osmo Action on the end of this stick, which is just a little tripody stick, extendable pole thing, so you can do like stretchy things and stuff. Um, sorry if this goes out of focus and things, there's no screen on the back of that, so I can't see myself. Um, so basically, yeah, that just stands on there. Uh, and it's basically like that. So whenever you see me do like a static shot, it's usually just plonked somewhere down in the grass or on here or on the side. Um, now, I use this DJI Osmo Action. I'll try and find a link that I can uh, send you guys to. I picked this up second hand for about £100. I think it was even less than that, I'll be honest with you, uh, from MPB Photographic and it's been an absolute workhorse for me. Uh, the reason I like using this is because the van's small and I need um, quite a wide angle lens um, and also we go on walks, there's lots of things that we do that uh, means that this is just so much easier to just throw in the bag. I mean the lights on top of there, it's just one of those, again I'll put a link in the description to this, it's just a battery powered light that I use when it's dark just to sort of light my face up a little bit. Um, but yeah, the main thing that we use is this. Um, I do plug um, a road mic, again, a link in the description below. I plug a road mic into this that plugs directly into the DJI Osmo Action, but you do need uh, a little um, thingy-ma-jig. It's like a USB to um, quarter-inch jack, whatever it is, USB to jack, uh, so you can use the um, microphone because uh, sadly on the DJI Osmo Action, there's no microphone input. Uh, these are about 25 quid-ish or something on Amazon. Um, the first one I got didn't work properly. And the second one I've got has worked flawlessly. Uh, Sinova, I think the brand is, but again, link in the description below. That just pops into the, um, the USB-C port there, which is also a charging port and a, like a transferring of images port if you want to uh, take out your SD card. Um, I've got a 32, 32 gigabyte SD card in there, you know, which is a micro SD card that just slots in there. It's a bit of a faff to get out, but again, I rarely get it out. I'll just plug directly into the um, Osmo Action and then transfer the files over to the laptop that way. So the card rarely comes out. Um, it'll come out if I'm changing it, obviously. So yeah, that pops into there, and then there's still another little USB port on the bottom of that, so you can still um, charge up your Osmo Action. Uh, I've not transferred files via that, so I couldn't tell you whether it does it, but you know, it's only a two second job to take that off and transfer files. Um, so yeah, that's the DJI Osmo Action, and yeah, we use it 
predominantly in if I can say that word predominantly yes predominantly in all our videos like 90% of the videos there's a few on the channel that I used um, the Sony a6400 with a um, I think it was the 18 to 105 lens that came with the Sony camera at the time they were great but the stabilization's a bit rubbish uh, whereas on this it's almost gimbal like it really is super super steady there's a setting on this called rock steady and um you'll probably be able to tell like from the some of the pan out shots and the pan round shots how steady it is it's great for walking with because it you know it's i think you know when i'm watching a video on youtube if it's all like rattling all over the place and stuff that uh, tends to sort of do my head in unless it's great content then i don't really mind but yeah um i like the stability for this i shoot at 50 frames a second on this because you can you can shoot higher and i only shoot at 1080 uh, by 720 uh, just because the file sizes are a lot smaller again it's not i'm not doing it professionally it's just a vlog uh, it's not a review of this it's just me showing you um the gear that i use um now it's just basically in a small van you you like you, you've not got much space and you don't have to hold it like full arms length out of the way and things like that um it means that you can use it in the cockpit of the van when we're driving it's great for b-roll because you're going up, up and down like when we're driving you're going up and down like bumps and stuff like that it rarely shows it which is ace um there are a couple of videos on the channel where we've tried to do b-roll with just a standard camera and it's been all over the place and it takes a lot of editing time to uh, rectify that in uh, in adobe premiere pro which is yeah is what i use a, a premiere pro now um the other thing that I were asked was what camera do i shoot the landscape stuff on now i'll show you now i've also got this new bag that i said i'll show you that in a second and i'll show you why i absolutely love it so this is the fuji xt3 yes i'll get there in the end um and basically this is I think I've mentioned on the channel before that I like to shoot uh, landscapes when I go out walking and um, I wanted a camera for me, not for my work. I thought to myself, I want to buy a camera for me um, so then I can just throw it in the bag, uh, not be too precious about it, although, you know, it's a beautiful, it's a thing of beauty. I'm using the 18 to 135 lens, which is this, and it extends like that. Um, the lens for me has been perfect. It's great for capturing those zoomy in shots to compress the mountains make them look ace 18 mil uh, wideness is brilliant for obviously you know capturing more landscape uh, but i do like to capture landscape zoomed in because i think it, it it pulls the mountains towards whereas with a wide angle lens you tend to push everything in the center of the lens away which makes have you ever have you ever um said to yourself i think we've all said this um, the photograph never captures uh, what you can see it never it never does it any justice you know i've i've certainly said that myself a few times it wasn't until i realized that actually compressing an image by zooming in pulls everything closer which gives you that feeling of oh that's amazing you know and i'll pop a picture up now of a shot that i took of the van with the mountains that were probably two miles behind but because i used a longer lens it brought the mountains towards the van made it look like i was literally camping at the bottom of the mountains and i i, I love that perspective it gives you the, the the height and the perspective of what's around you and things like that and then if I wanted to get more of a, a wider shot, what I'd do is I'd zoom in and then I would like do a panoramic. I'd take three or four images and then stitch them together in Photoshop or Lightroom. And then and then I've got like a, a fully compressed, oh wow, those mountains look massive in a wider image kind of shot. So, so yeah, I'm using the X-T3. I always forget what it's called. And I've got like a, like a mount on the bottom there, which helps me grip the bottom. Also gives me a little bit, I've got massive hands, so it gives me a little bit more space to hold the camera. And also, I mean, I can't show you because it's the camera that I'm filming on now is on the tripod, but the L bracket on here just clips into the tripod that I've got um, this way and that way. So there's none of this like screwing things in and things like that. So it just means that I can put the tripod down, I can clip that on, tighten it up, done, uh, and then get shooting. So it just makes things a little bit easier in the long run. I tend to take several batteries with me. Um, they're all on charge with little power banks. So I take power banks with me as well, and they just stay in my bag charging up constantly so they're always there um the dji osmo action also comes with a little uh char not a charging bank but like a um yeah it's a charging bank i suppose you can put three batteries in it um and then when you press a button on it it lights up and tells you which one's charged fully or not and then that can be plugged into a an external charging bank or into any usb ports in your van and then that will charge all that up so that's ace so onto my newest little purchase let me just pop these to one side so 
I have just bought, uh, so I've been looking for a bag that is almost a do-it-all bag. So uh, a day out bag, you could put your lunch in, your coats, uh, and also camera gear to keep it safe. Um, and I have been looking all over the place for this, and this is the bag that I've gone to. It's called the Flipside 350 by Low Pro. Um, uh, I think it, it, the prices range between sort of 50 and 150 pounds, depending on where you're looking, depending on what kind of um, uh, promotions are on at any one time. This is from Amazon. I'll put a link into the description below. And um, basically, this bag. It's fallen out because I've left it open. So this bag has a compartment at the back. Um, and now I like having compartments at the back for my camera gear because if the zip breaks, it's pressed against my back, which means it won't fall out. I've had other bags before where you load the cameras in the front and you know the zipper's broken and there's been like touch and go whether the camera gear is going to drop out. And then you're, all, you're always worried if someone's going to pickpocket you and things like that, which means all my expensive gear, phones, cameras, chargers, everything like that can all be in this section out of the way. Uh, and I'll show you that in a second. But then let me just zip that up so I don't drop everything again. <laughs> but then in the top half here, We've got uh, room for like uh, coats and dinner, things like that, like a day pack if you're going out for the day. I mean, I won't go wild camping with it, but certainly take this out for a day's walk. Um, it's got a waterproof sack uh, just in the zip at the back here. Let's have a quick look. So that comes out and then that goes over the front. It's the same color as a bag and that just goes over just to stop everything, all your gear from getting wet in there. This little pouch actually is big enough um, to fit like your lens cap. So when I'm out and about, I always lose my lens caps. I've had to buy some recently. You know, that's why the, there's no food you want on the front of that because I left it in a field. Um, but yeah, I, I shove my lens caps in there and that keeps them out of the way, stops me from losing them, which is brilliant. So yeah, there's that and that and that. There's uh, loads of straps on the front. You can either put your tripod on the front there uh, or you can hang like pans and pots if you want to go all old school. There's a pocket in either side to put a bottle of water or you can put your tripod in this side as well because there's some straps there. All the straps, all the zips have got toggles on them. And to the, oh yeah, on, on the side pouch here, uh, you've got on both sides, you've got a little pocket. Uh, you could put like, you know, you can fit bars, chocolate bars, uh, cash, anything like that. And that's always going to be on your side. I'll do a little b-roll now of me wearing it and modeling it you know what i'm saying models uh so then you can see the size of it i'm, I'm six foot two um it's a it's a smallish bag there's a bigger version of this obviously it's slightly more expensive there's the 450 which is bigger and then there's a smaller one if you're more petite which is the 250 which is a little bit smaller which i again it looked a bit silly on me uh so but this one it, it fits me perfectly because it's slightly smaller as well so it means it, it doesn't take up too much room in the van uh, i never take like tons and tons of camera gear with me anyway it's usually just the xt3 the uh, DJI Osmo and then uh, recently I've just bought a, um, a Kodak printing camera because what we're going to do is we're going to and I'll show you it uh, when it arrives in the videos in the future videos but yeah we're going to take a photo on every trip that we do it prints it off automatically and then we're going to stick it in like a an adventure book or somewhere in the van or something like that so then we've got something to look back on in years to come of all our little adventures we've been on uh, including the videos that we can watch so the main event of this is um, the backpack at the back has a section which is sectioned out for um, all your camera gear now all these are removable and you can change them and fit them to your needs i've got uh, the camera goes in there like that so that's where the camera goes and then in here i've got like a filter and then the flash that comes with the camera which is a bit rubbish uh, i've got oh in fact i have got the dji osmo action chargy bank thing so this is the this is what comes with the DJI Osmo Action. Now, all three batteries are in there now, and uh, when you press, there's a button somewhere. When you press the button, let me just see, where does it show you? There, so there's three lights on there, which I know that means there, no, there's two lights. So it means that those two are charged and that one's not. Uh, so it means that this one needs charging. So all I do is plug a USB into that and into a charging point in the van or into a, uh one of those chargy bank things and i know that that will then be charged because it's in my bag ready to go they all slot in there i've got the hard drive that i back up all of the video files onto when we're out and about and uh and uh, another charger for the xt3 with batteries and stuff like that so all that goes in there and i've still got a little bit of extra space um there's like a little bit in here so all the little these have got like they're ace and you can slide things in there i've got some got leads and wires in there so they're out of the way they don't fly around in the bag 
at the back here there's like a little usb kind of uh, not usb a sd card slot holder there which is nice i've got all that in there uh, the bag is so comfy to carry um i've not had any problems we did like a day out the other day and uh, and i carried this around all day we had our food in it uh, i had two full bottles of water so it's what a liter of water on each side which is probably equivalent of about two kilos the camera gear probably had about six or eight kilos of stuff in this and it felt so light on me it really really felt so nice so um the, the padding on the back everything it's just and it looks mint as well and that's half the reason you buy stuff in it because it looks ace but yeah i mean the, the the fact that it's quite small there's obviously not obviously you didn't know but i do there's another pouch in the front here which has got little separate sections i've got another spare lens cap in there some lens cloths and another little section that zips up and stuff like that and then so you can put your keys in there you can get a tablet in there there you get your phone in there things like that that's all out of the way uh, one thing i forgot to mention as well is on here when i'm out walking on the fells and stuff my biggest fear is losing the van keys getting back and be like oh i opened my bag i got my food out and my van keys have dropped on the floor this has got a little and a lot of the walking day packs have them a little clip that you can put your keyring onto and then and then pop it in this little section here and zip it up and then if you go in there and your keys fall out they're attached to that so you're not going to lose them uh, if you lose them after that then you're an idiot <laughs> um so yeah that's basically in a nutshell um my vlogging setup i hope that answers all the questions that you guys had um about what vlogging gear i use and, and the cameras that i use and things like that i could wholeheartedly recommend every single bit of gear that i use having spent the past 10 years sort of flitting between different brands and things like that i mean i've used canon i've used nikon i've used many many lenses um and the this is the setup that i that works for me it might not work for you obviously but uh, i i really really like um using all that don't forget to like and subscribe uh, next week's video will be a video of us as mentioned previously at kielder forest the dark skies place uh, the place is half an hour from civilization you're really in the middle of nowhere no wi-fi no mobile phone reception it sounds like bliss so yes don't forget to watch next week's video you're all awesome take care i'll see you on the next adventure see you later bye